The most common form of sexual dysfunction in women is loss of sexual desire. Could the solution be as simple as a shot? Dr. Nia, talk to us about this shot. This shot, it's called bromelanotide, and it's an FDA-approved injection that's appropriate for some women with hypoactive sexual desire disorder, also known as HSDD, and some people at home will probably just call it low libido. Basically, with this injection, you use it to inject subcutaneously in the abdomen or thigh at least 45 minutes before sexual activity. We don't know exactly how it works, but we think that it's doing something with brain receptors and it's increasing your libido. What I like is that with this particular injection, you can use it only when you want to have sex. You can use it up to eight times per month because there was another medication that was approved by the FDA in the past, but that was a daily pill that women had to take and they couldn't drink alcohol and they had unwanted side effects, so it wasn't as well received, but hopefully, women will like this one better. How long does the shot reportedly last? Because then the reason I ask that uh -huh. is, you know, one, one of the big issues at times with erectile dysfunction medicines mm -hmm. was sort of the awkwardness of trying to time it all. Yeah. You know, is, is it ideally taken 45 minutes before? Because again, that gets they're back working, if you're suffering yeah. from low libido. They're working so differently. I mean, the blue pill is working directly exactly. down there through, and this through So the new, question, you know, how long oxide. does that, but, I mean, I guess no one really knows it's different for every person, but. You do it at least 45 minutes. Least, and you can, so it and gives we, it time to. To work, and you can only take one injection per 24 hour period. And based on the current research, you only get, you get eight shots per month. So you right. get eight so times still to get it So still in infancy. Yeah. I want to bring yeah. into the conversation someone else, because some critics are saying this is just a Band-Aid. We do have psychologist Dr. Kelly Donahoe joining us today to weigh in on this. Welcome. Hi. So good to have you, Hi. Kelly. Hi. So, Hi. What are your thoughts on a shot like this? I love it. Here's something medical that we can offer to people as a way of taking control of their sexuality. And the other part I really want to emphasize is that this is a choice. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes to us and they are saying, I want to have a different sex life with my partners, then here we can help them out and give them another choice. And I also want to mention that it isn't for everyone. Right. So if you have a trauma history, or the relationship isn't healthy, or it's an underlying medical condition, this medication isn't for you. Yeah. Obviously something to bring up with your obstetrician gynecologist, but also when should patients go the next step and say, you know what, I'd love to talk to someone like Kelly about this. And, well, and anytime, what does someone do in that way? Because it's, it's, it's such a unique field, right? Yes. Like it's not the same as talking to someone about just the pure relationship. When you're talking about libido, mm -hmm. again, yes. all these other elements to it. So let me say that I'm a general psychologist, so I see people for everything, and this comes up all the time. Mm -hmm. Sex is everywhere, it's part of us, yeah. you know? And so anytime that you feel like you wanna make a change in your sex life, bring it up. We are used to talking about it. We know that upwards of 20% of premenopausal women are experiencing difficulty with having the kind of desire and arousal that they would like. That's a huge number. I mean, if we just look around here, so there are people listening and watching that are thinking, oh, that's me. Talk to someone about it. Talk to your physician, talk to your OBGYN, talk to a therapist. There may be underlying things happening and we can tease that well, out for you. I so mean, you don't have to do that and work I am, for I'm so glad that there like, is there an could option. Be other issues, it could be depression, it could yeah. be anxiety, it could be and some other mood disorder. And this won't fix that. Exactly. It's not gonna fix your relationship. Or if no. you're with your partner and you say, I don't wanna have sex with you, but I think I might wanna have sex with somebody else. Like that's not hypoactive sexual yes. desire disorder. <laughs> that's you not having a good relationship and that's, that's therapy. But also remember this is for premenopausal women at this point, and just know that there are some contraindications, like if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure or known cardiovascular disease, talk to your doctor about the risk. A lot of women complained of nausea, headache. You can get some hyperpigmentation mm -hmm. in some instances that may be permanent. Okay. So risk and benefits to everything. And there's always berry white music and candles. <laughs> yes, dust your berry white often. Have yourself a good time. I feel love coming on. Hey. <laughs>